Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this video tutorial, I'm going to show you this really cute, I think, Valentine's piece of decor that has two colors that I don't necessarily associate together, together, and that is red and sort of a turquoise color. So it's going to be super cute. We're going to be using Waverly um, Matte Finish No Prep Acrylic Paint in Crimson and Agave and White. Um, we're going to be using these crosses that came from Dollar Tree, but we're only using them as a pattern. Okay. We're going to use some of these self-adhesive um, wall tiles that you can get at Dollar Tree and Dollar General or perhaps somewhere else. These look like those old-fashioned metal or tin uh, ceiling tiles. Um, this is my round MDF piece that we're going to be working with. I've given it one generous coat of paint. We're going to use a scrubby sponge and a palette knife. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Oh, and here is what inspired me. These were some stuffies that I made a week or two ago using the stencil that came out of the January Craft Club box. And I used these same two colors. And I just love this combination of red and a turquoise um, color together. So that was my inspiration. All right, so let's start at the beginning. is I'm going to open my little package. This is so cute, you guys. I can't wait to see it all come to together. Um, okay, and then uh, this is like thin plastic. So it's, and the adhesive part isn't attached to this part very well, so you really are going to have to use glue. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is either, like for example, I cut out a heart. And I'll show you that in just a second. But I'm going to show you how to do like a, um, a cross. So you can decide where you want it to be. And I'm just using a big fat Sharpie. self-adhesive tile things are from Dollar Tree and like I said um, you can probably get them somewhere else too oh or Dollar General I've heard people tell me that they found them at Dollar General um, they're a dollar twenty-five they're super affordable so here is my pattern made out of a cross which you could go ahead then and glue it to a cross if you just wanted to have it by, or by itself, but we're gonna combine it. So, and then you're gonna just cut it out, and I'm cutting inside of the black Sharpie lines. I'll show you how this comes apart. And I'm not going to throw this away because there's enough for a whole nother something out of that piece. You don't want to be wasteful. this so if there's a little bit of black left it's no big deal so how is everyone doing today today is uh, if you're watching live today is Wednesday it's usually a pretty crazy day for me because Wednesdays are when I have my Bible study and I'm just surprised by myself that I'm so energetic today to do two Facebook lives. Um, I my earlier one I showed all these amazing things that I picked up at Dollar Tree and Goodwill. Okay, so see the the 
part that's adhesive just comes off. And you can toss that. Um, okay, then I'm gonna use a piece of parchment paper. I was so excited when I went to Dollar Tree this morning on my way to Bible study that they finally had this pop up um, parchment paper. It's great for crafting. It's great for painting. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I'm gonna use this color, which I'm totally loving. It's called Agave. I need a brush. And when you put your paint on, um, you do want to not have it on too thick because the raised detail is what gives it interest. And if, if it's swimming in puddles of paint, so it's not really even raised anymore, then when we get to the next step with this, it won't be as fabulous. I'm just looking, do I have any big, big puddles of paint? Yes, I do. Pull those off. And that's pretty much it. Let's get the very bottom. Um, it's going to take probably at least 30 minutes to dry. And depending how it looks when it's dry, you might want to give it another coat of paint. This Waverly um, paint from Walmart is pretty um, pigmented and intense. So you don't necessarily have to do two coats. Okay, so let's find a spot. My spots are running out here. Okay, before I came live, I did that. I also cut out another one that will match this shape, but I decided to use the planar shape and I painted it, okay? Also, I cut out and painted my heart. To do this heart, I pretty much just free-handed uh, on the back and cut it out. It's not exactly symmetrical, but um, and I, it used a great amount of the self-adhesive wild tile. Okay, the other thing I did in preparation, I've been busy, is I painted this white. This came from Walmart a few weeks ago. It was in the Christmas 90% off section, and I think I paid around a dollar for it. I got two of them, and I used, I've already used the other one. What did I make with it? I can't even remember. I craft every day. I don't even know what I did. But anyways, it was just this brown MDF, and I just used this white Waverly paint, one coat. And so this is what we're building on. All right, I know probably if you've worked with this self-adhesive wall tile before, you're used to the idea that you have to put it on something. But you really don't, not if you're gonna just glue it to uh, a board. And that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna um, do some fun distressing and then I'm gonna use a palette knife to do the edges. And I got out some ribbon, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to do that. It may have plenty going on already. So this is basically what the design that I want is. Okay. So I do want it to be straight, which is so hard to tell. Okay. I'm going to say that that's Right enough, and I'm using my low temperature hot gluing device, which it's a sure bonder cool shot mini cheapo cheapo. You can get these at Walmart at Hobby Lobby for under ten dollars. Um, it's low temperature, and I feel like possibly it's even a little lower than low. So um, I'm gonna apply some glue on the tip of this just to hold it in place. It 
it's this stuff is so lightweight it's really not going to take very much to hold it on okay I slightly put it off to one side so I'd have a little bit more room on the other side for my cross that I'm just going to put right here and then we're going to distress them. Um, and I'm distressing with a sponge so that will work and then we're going to use the palette knife and blue, this turquoise color to go around the edge of uh, our circle. So what I was thinking when I kind of sketched this idea was um, our hearts and having God, the Holy Spirit inside of us, and also hiding God's word in our heart. And that, um, that concept of hiding God's word in our heart comes from Psalm 119, verse 11. And it says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And oh, I just love that verse. I'm going to take a picture of that page, my Bible, because I have um, doodled on it over the years. And it, it's pretty sweet, I think. Okay, so we're going to use white paint. And I'm just going to put a little bit here on a paper plate. I don't know how much we're going to need. We'll see. And this right here is a kitchen sponge with a scrubby back to it that I've cut into smaller pieces. It's just a little bit easier to work with when it's like this. And the other thing is um, I'm not getting it wet. So it'll grab easier to the uh, ridges on our heart and on our... Um, Cross. And now I'm just going to start. Make sure you can see. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You can do this as light handed or heavy handed as you like. It's totally up to you what appeals to you. really missed. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. And it just took one dip. Okay. So that is cute already. What do you guys think? Berta says, hello, Heidi. I already love it without it being finished. I'm loving it, too. And I'm just thinking, do we really need to do a ribbon? Usually what I like to do when I do a project like this is I like to finish the project, and I'm just going to throw this in a tub of water and squeeze it out so I can keep using the same little sponge pieces over and over. Usually what I like to do is I like to look at something for a little while before I decide how to embellish it or whether I even want to embellish it at all. So I probably won't do a bow right now. Okay, now we're using this color, which is called Agave. And Waverly does have some nice turquoisey blue colors. Um, your paint does not have to be this brand though. That's just what I have, and um, I don't need that much. It's just super convenient for me to 
shop in the craft department at Walmart because it's like less than two miles from my house. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I put some agave paint on my little palette paper plate, and I'm using my palette knife. And this is, um, it's plastic. It comes in a set of three. It's from Dollar Tree. Um, I, I love working with palette knives. Um, so, and I'm just gonna kind of scratch, just gonna do a little bit more, scratch the edge. Oh my gosh, that's so cute already. <gasps> I'm going to want it to be pretty heavy. More like that. And I'm sorry about the dogs barking in the background. There's probably a leaf that's fallen off of a tree in our front yard. And my dog Molly is very concerned about it. <laughs> Okay, so you hold it like this, and then you just kind of scrape it, and this um, piece of MDF is kind of rough. I didn't sand it or anything. And so it's just grabbing the um, paint wherever it wants to. So usually my crafts are pretty cream, <laughs> creamy, creamy, white, with a little gray maybe, and some lace or something, and maybe some jute, and I don't tend to do a lot of projects that are like this, but oh my gosh, it's so, so, so cute. I did get a little crazy right here. Let's see. Do I have any baby wipes in here? Yes. I'm afraid if I try to pull this off, I might just paint over it or just live with it. I don't know. Can you see this blob right here that I'm talking about? It is so cute. Um, I don't know. Do I just leave it alone at this point? Or keep going? Or do I want it anywhere else? Well, I just got some on my heart. Um, so one thing I may also do is I may come back and paint this edge, that turquoise color, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, there's so many different kinds of embellishments that you could put on a project like this, but honestly, I don't really even know if it needs anything else. So tell me in the comments what you thought. Did you like this super easy, I mean super easy, project? Do you like the idea of red and turquoise um, together for Valentine's? Um, tell me what you think. Did you like the sponge technique that I showed you? Okay, this is not original to me. I know there's a lot of crafters do it, but my friend Lisa Ramsey, um, one of the owners of Magnolia, um, she did it on a video a few months ago and I was like oh my gosh that is brilliant you can distress anything with a sponge and um, I wonder if I could apply some of this to the edges using a sponge let's try I'm gonna set it on this so I don't get it all over my desk oh yes Oh my goodness. I'll pick this up in just a second and show you. 
That is pretty cool. So I will finish that up off camera and um, I'll fiddle around. These were the two ribbons that I got out thinking that maybe they would work. But they're kind of cutesy. I don't know that it even needs anything else done to it. What do you what do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think. Okay, Mara Lee says that she loves these colors. And Margaret Gort says the sponge is a great idea. Maureen says it's very pretty. Thank you guys. So that's it. I feel almost embarrassed to show it to you because it was just so super simple. But I'm pretty happy with it. And um, if you decide to do something like this, whether you build it on a round or you you do something just this idea I would definitely love to see pictures so um, pop over to that free group that I set up for all of us to share pictures it's dreamy and then there's a space DIY that's the name of the group dreamy DIY if you haven't joined it yet just type it in your search bar on Facebook it's a Facebook free group and when you get there be sure to answer the questions because the admin won't admit you to the group if you don't answer the questions and the questions are pretty easy will you be nice to the other crafters don't say that's the ugliest project I've ever seen of course you will I mean of course you won't wouldn't say anything like that um, do you will you agree not to use this group um, to sell makeup or um, your real realtor services or clothes or something like that and what's the other one? Oh, not to share other video other crafters videos within that group because then I get a million questions how is that done and a lot of times I have no idea so anyways but I would love to see what you do so share pictures um, Dixie says leave off the ribbon that's the way I'm leaning for sure I'm gonna let everything dry a little bit and then I'm gonna do some more edging and I'll get close-up pictures either tonight or first thing in the morning. I'll put those here in these comments. I will also just put them over on this page, DIY Dreaming. Uh, do it this or this or say something to me in the comments. Check to see if you've liked and followed this page. You can turn on your notifications, all that normal rigmarole. If Facebook just doesn't show you what I have going on here, and I am on here every single day. Uh, then you can just type DIY Dreaming into your search bar anytime you want and it'll take you here. If you're watching on YouTube, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Oh, I'm seeing so many good ideas. And thank you so much for the stars also. Alrighty, I'm going to say goodbye for right now, but I hope you have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow for more crafts that are going to be quick and easy like this. They're going to be affordable like this. I have probably less than $5, way less than $5 into this because I only paid about 90 cents for the round, $125, $125. Um, so they're going to be affordable, they're going to be quick and easy, um, and they're mostly going to involve either faith, family, or flowers. Alrighty, see you guys later.